morning everybody it's your boy Phoenix Kicks I'm trying out some new equipment see how this works hope the volume sounds pretty good on this um right here just got this in the day this belongs to my wife she hit on uh, no I hit on sneakers app and uh, she wanted this so we're gonna try to see what's inside this box now I'm gonna try to keep myself out the picture okay uh, this is a new box that Nike is shipping right now with the shoes so hopefully a lot of people are getting these without the just do it tape I did take off my address information and stuff off the box I did open this up but I stopped myself because I want to do an unboxing so now let's just take this apart like so okay pull this out and as you can see shown right here Nike box all the way around plain old Nike box as you can see right here size 11 cost $120 the women Nike duck high up on the bottom of the box there you have it all right let's uh, pop open the lid now this is my first time seeing it too so I haven't looked at this yet so let's remove the paper and there you have it the purple iron if that's what it's called the women's purple iron let's pull back the other paper What they look like all right there's nothing else in the box there are no extra shoelaces so let's just move this out the way i'm gonna set these right here so as you can see it is the women's nike dunk high up purple iron and i'm gonna bring this a little closer now as you can see right here the type of style of nike dunk is different uh, the resale value, first of all, before I go any further, is not that high. Uh, these, like I say, 120. Right now, if you like this shoe, you could probably kick, pick it up no more than probably 10, 20 dollars over resale. Now, I think what's really throwing this off is because, well, let's start with the outsoles. Well, the outsoles right here has a two-tone. Well, I think this is more like a, a foam material, which makes it more comfortable for you to walk on. Uh, outlined with the standard rubber um, dunk, dunk tread as you can see here all the way around then you have that foam that's from the bottom and the midsection right here this is probably what's throwing a lot of people out this outline right here to make the raises the midsole up higher um, which also gives it a protective guard for the toe box but it goes all the way around through the back all the way to the uh, medial side back to the front now on the medial side, we're going to start with this. Um, the leather, gray leather on the uh, butt, medial side and toe box. You have this funny material right here. It's almost like a reflective material. It's like purplish type material, like a flat panel. It's not even it's not even leather. It's more like a plastic panel. The Nike Swoosh is in a nice purplish leather material, as you can see. You can see the actual leather texture on the back where the two panels and leather panels come together the sewn up here in the middle you have that continuation of that that kind of plastic material and I'm thinking no I think that's leather yeah that's leather I'm sorry I take that back that's leather but it feels it's got a strange like a plastic type texture almost like you could scratch it you hear that let me do this see uh, pull tab here is made leather around the collar you have a fabric material not as padded as most but it is padded on the lateral side you have that leather purplish type material going down the eyelids the Nike swoosh is in that purple color with a silver stitching of the Nike material here Around the toe box, you have a continuation of that grayish leather. Toe box itself, not bad leather. It's very nice leather. It's not plasticky feeling or anything. The shoestrings are made of that same grayish purple like type material. I want to say lavender, maybe, if that's what it's called. Nothing special about the shoestrings, they're the same. Tongue itself is made out of that nylon material. 
Apache nylon with the green Nike on the tongue on the back you just have your details right here on the inside nothing special just some purple Nike with a white insole I don't know if I can take it out but I'm not gonna do that but yeah that's pretty much all I can say about this only in the back where the rib cage is right here on the back you can see where the outline is stitched in the same color as the gray leather or purplish lavender leather um, but yeah it's not too bad of a shoe I mean it's, if you look at the toe box itself it looks kind of flat see how that look? looks really flat right there but it's not bad I mean it's a clean colorway um, if they had them my size I probably would have picked up picked up a pair for myself but no I think uh, my wife wanted to try these out but actually uh, these might go to like my sister she fits the size of this particular size or we just return it back to Nike I don't think like I say the resale value is not that high but hold on let me see back here you see where the ridge is where that extra foam padding is coming up it goes all the way around the whole shoe and I think that might be throwing out the resale because it's a really nice structured shoe I mean it is but I think because this extra padding here which is continuation of the foam here is what's throwing it all off let me grab the other shoe as you can see the quality control on this is pretty clean stuff so maybe right there yeah look at that yep that's that's a scratch I think it's a scratch or the imperfect, imperfect leather material, but the leather is really soft. This is really soft leather, and when I talk about leather, soft leather, this is like baby soft, almost like lambskin type material. But like I say, the colorway and stuff is really nice. I do like this style. Oh, I didn't notice that part. The stitching goes from all the way from the side to side, all the way around the back to the other side. I do think this is kind of a clever design. Uh, with the two, the dual Nike Swoosh, one's on here, one's on here. Um, yeah, it's not bad. 120 bucks. Like I say, resale value for these is not that high. They're probably going over 10, 20 bucks. So if you decide you want to pick up a pair, of these are pretty clean colorway. And um, yeah, I think it's really nice. Now, comfort wise, I, like I say, they're not in my size. I can't tell you how comfortable they are, but I think this foam padding make is going to be like a, a real comfortable walk because usually dunks are flat. People don't like walking in dunks that long. But yep. There you have it. My review. And my thoughts on the. You know. The Nike Dunk High Up. Purple Iron. Go out there and pick you up a pair. You might like it. So yep. Trying out some new equipment. Seeing how this works with my reviews. Like I said my hands are free. As you can see. So I don't have to worry about too much. And um, yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna turn these around just so you can look at them side to side. Let me see if I can get a little closer in the zoom if I can without messing this up. Pull this down just a little bit right there so you get a good close up, as you can see. So, ladies, if you're in the market and you want a pair of these, I will say get you a pair of these, try them out see what you think about them they're clean brothers if they come in your size pick them up as I can see right here I believe I step out the picture as I can see right here size 11 it doesn't say men's it's just basically all women but you know you can do the math so yeah go out there and pick you up a pair of these they're clean so I'm going to roll up out of here. I got things to do. But if you can, do me a favor. If you like my videos, please, please subscribe to my channel. Also, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the shoes. What you plan on copping. There are some shoes dropping. And shout out to several people that I watch all the time. My boy, M. Will Closet, uh, Milk Magnificent, and uh, 12 Hub. I was watching that video last night. Thank you very much again, 12 Hub. Um, hopefully, you got my information. To reach out to each other soon. And like I say, um, hope y'all like my videos. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Leave a comment below. And be blessed. Hey.
Peace out, y'all.